Aloha YouTube, this is Neo Drew bringing you guys another video today. Um, this video is of my um, deck I ran at the Winnebox tournament this past Saturday at the Toys for You Winnebox locals. Um, I went, I got top four, I got fourth place with uh, a different build of Chaos Agents because I was sleepy when I was putting the deck together. And this is what I built. Those uh, for the deal. Let's get started. The, the Stratus of the deck. Earth. It's a two star tuner, transmodify target, and just works really well. My ultimate negator of the deck. Head of Orange Light at three. Really good. Better than Baylor. For this deck. <laughs> Excuse me. Three Venus. Thinner out of the deck. And just sets up a lot of leveled or rank two and rank three. <laughs> Excuse me. And rank three exceeds. Um, shine balls. Just a lot of my rank two plays. The boss monster of the deck. Three Hyperions. Really good. Just pops my opponent stuff. Three tour guides because they were able to search each other out and just really good. Go uh, more rank three support thins the decks out. Double max C, um, good against decks that special summon a lot when I draw it, and forces my opponent to either stall in their plays or just allow me to draw lots and lots of cards. Um, also, in e against certain matchups, it's an easy side out card. One Dragodia, because that's all I needed. And I just found, and in, in the way the build was, it just one was testing out, was work, ended up working real well. One BLS. No Chaos Sorcerer and stuff in this build, um, just because I don't need it, and it's, there's, deck space is just really, really tight as is. One Gen X Ally Birdman, um, again, works in conjunction with Venus and the Shine Balls to either go for really big synchros or uh, rank three plays. One Th Thunder King Ryo really hurt my opponents, especially in the Spellbook matchup I had in round three. Just forces my opponent to make plays they don't necessarily want to make, or at least not at the times they want to make it. One Honest won me a couple different games. Um, just really good, especially because it goes to reference. Just really sexy. And the end of the monster lineup in the main deck is one Archlord Christia. Next for the spells, it's really odd for Chaos Agents, well, Ancient General, but it added consistency to the deck. Upstart Goblins just helped me get to my plays a lot faster. Double MST, because I hate back row. Double Transmodify, because it's a really good opening move to go Earth, search card, then use it on Earth to get out a second Venus, and the Venus and the Shine Balls, and just ends up thinning my deck out by like five or six cards. Uh, to protect myself in the Spellbook matchup and against a lot of annoying traps and stuff, double Forbidden Lance. To clear out my opponent's monsters and allow me to go off on my turn, uh, to go off on with myself, one Dark Hole. Now for the traps, I ran three Call the Haunteds, because it's just standard in Chaos Agents and Agents in general just to get my monsters back, especially if I like have Christy at hand and just Herald to get it and use it with Herald or Hyperion happens to be in the grave. It's just a quick way to get my monsters back. The one card I use different than like in some of my other deck profiles you've seen. Um, it, it's a good card, but I never drew it. One Divine Wrath. If I was to take anything out and change, it might be this card. But it's still it's just a good card in general because usually I have cards in hand when I when my opponent goes to activate effects. Anyways, it, the the deck is for, forty cards. Um, now for the side or extra deck. Um, I'll start out with the Xyz monsters. Let me rearrange this. Alright. One Dark Mist. One Levier. One Herald of Pure Light. Use this so many times, and it, it in combination with Honest won me my round three against uh, Dalton's Spellbooks. Um, wind up Zen Mains. Gotcha Guy Sheik and Tetsu. Oh, sorry, I'm kind of like finding a cold or whatever it is. Um, one Digesto Phoenix. And one Mequipped Engineer for the Xyz Monsters. Now for the Synchro. Black Rose Dragon. Had times I could have gone into it, but I never actually did. But it's just good to have. Armory Arm. Went into it a couple times. Scrap Dragon. 
because Scrap Genesis is really, really good with popping stuff. One Guy Knight, Force the Earth, just a big beater. One Adrius, Keeper of Armageddon, just a really good card. One Mistworm, DT Ultra. One Catastor, DT Rare. And then one that is a new addition to the deck that just because I'm able to make it, and it's, it's a situational card, but it's not a bad. It's the big beefy beater himself. Uh, Le Leo, Keeper of the Sacred Tree, it's a generic rank, or excuse me, level 10 synchro. Um, just a really, really good card. 3100 beater, and it can't be affected by my opponent's card effects, except during ma my main phase 2. So it's just like, um, you can't fade it, you can't do a lot of things to it. Which is a really, really good card. Never did, I had opportunities to bring it out, but I didn't end up doing it. Because um, I went for more attack damage. Um, but it's still a safe play to go into. And now for the side deck. The third MST, or excuse me, the third Forbidden Lance. The third Mystical Space Typhoon. Two Overworked. Two Goes and Match. One Enemy Controller. Two Light Imprisoning Mirror for the Bujin Mirror Match and other light decks because my monsters are bigger than theirs. One Soul Drain for the Mermails uh, and some other matchups. Two Shadow Imprisoning Mirror in case I face Evil Swarms and stuff. And I never did face the Evil Swarm player who ended up winning the tournament. But it's like for Evil Swarms, Ghost Tricks, Insectors, Dark World, just other dark deck. One XYZ Encore, just again, again for the Evil Swarm match and others. And two Royal Decrees. These actually got the see some play, which was actually pretty cool. And that's the deck. Okay. And my matchups were in the winner box. Round one, I faced my nephew's Bujins. And it went to game three, but I was able to pull it out because I won games one and three. My nephew's over dominant on game two. Um, round two, I faced Harpies, and I got 2-0 just because I drew horrible the first game. And then the second game, I got him down really low, and then he just was able... To, I, I went all out on my thir turn. It was just shy of being able, being able to OTK, and then he did OTK. Round three, I faced Spellbooks, which is literally my worst matchup, I think, for Chaos Agents. Even with it neutered and doesn't not with Fate to One and Spellbook of uh, Judgment banned, it's still my worst matchup. But the Lances did help with that big time. The Lances, I mean, were extremely helpful. Um, and let's see what else. The, and I ended up, it went to game, I was just over dominant. Just Birdman just was able to beat him in the face. Um, and basically essentially won game one on its own. Game two, I just couldn't get nothing going, and which happens. And I, I was, even though it was still pretty back and forth, I ended up losing. Um game three my opponent just drew horrible and stuff i mean double veiler maxi and the world for majority of his cards and his spellbook combos weren't going off and i herald of orange lighted him twice and just beat him with venus and herald of pure light herald of pure light's effect was able to go off and i was able to return stuff and different stuff um but when he i and i had honest in hand from the beginning and he finally powered up finally got his last thing where he powered up his Went um, Blue Boy to get power. Use power on Blue Boy. Went to attack, which would have allowed, which allowed him to get more of his plays going. But unfortunate for him, I had on in hand from the beginning and just was able to honest for a game. Um, then round four, um, I faced Fire Fist, which is another tough matchup for agents um, if if they get their plays going. Uh, but let's see, what was it? I lost game one. I cited in the right stuff, and I was able to take game two, plus Royal Decree just shut down all his traps, so just not much. And then game three, I had a first turn where I had got his life points down to, I believe, 1,200 or something like that, right down to really, really low. I was able to put on just huge damage. I was on board with Venus, um, Triple Shine Ball, got into, Gachi, or into Digusto Phoenix, Hyperion, and just have a lot, a ton of damage on the board. And I think BLS as well, I forget. But it was something like that. I just had a ton of damage on the board. Oh no, and Engineer, that's what it was. Engineer, Venus, um, Digos to Phoenix, and Hyperion were on the field first turn. And I was able to nearly OTK my opponent. 
Um, I had no cards in hand afterwards, but he drew a blank because he only had one monster, and with me popping his monster, um, it just he wasn't able to get its effect off because it was a boar, and boar only gets its search effect by one destroy by battle. So basically, I did the most of the damage, and then my opponent drew, and like he just scooped because there was nothing. He had a horrible hand, but again, that happens. Um, but again, Fire Fist is a deck I've had issues with. Spellbooks are the ones that are usually two of the decks I have a hard, I've had hard times beating in the past and haven't beat. I mean, online I can beat them all the time, but in real life, like at my locals and stuff, it I don't draw the stuff essentially I need I, to be able to beat them. But this time it just worked out really well. And yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. Please make sure to check out my other videos. Um, a live stream will be starting shortly after this video is loaded up, or actually, rather, I should say, this video will be loading up probably when I start my live stream. So hopefully, I'll be able, everything will work good, and yeah, I'll be catching you guys later. Peace out, YouTube, and have a wonderful rest.